Hi friends, it's Deanna Williston with Our Blooming Catholic Life. Still enjoying that I got a backup drive and a backup drive to my backup drive so that I can make you videos. <laughs> Unexpected joys of YouTubing. Um, this is another Matthew Kelly book, is it? It doesn't say that. It says Dynamic Catholic on the front, but it doesn't say that it's by Matthew Kelly. Does it say it somewhere? Huh. It does not. On the inside, it says it's copyrighted by Kakadu LLC and published by Blue Sparrow. Now, I thought it was a Matthew Kelly book. I'll have to look it up because his name's not listed anywhere. I don't know. Um, but it is a dynamic Catholic book. And it's called Do Something Beautiful for God, The Essential Teachings of Mother Teresa. And you may or may not know, she was a secular Franciscan. Um, yeah. So, surprise if you didn't know that. Um, let's get in. We were just enjoying the Rediscover the Saints, and this could be another little saint book I could read after that. Introduction, um, the table of contents. They went back with that silly casual writing. To me, that's silly because it's hard for people who don't know English or have reading or, or visual disabilities. That can be really hard to read that font. But then the rest of the table of contents is nice, except it's a little confusing to me. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm getting it now. So introduction is on page one. A short biography is on five. And then I started reading these as dates, not page numbers. So I was like, January 11th, February 19th, March 27th. Like, what are these dates? <laughs> so it goes sequential day by day. So it's a day by day thing. Did you get that from the title? I did not get that from the title at all. So this is a daily reader. Yep. It's a daily reader. It's, um... Last one starts on page 115. How many pages are in this book? 123. That's it. 123. That's not many. Introduction, Encountering a Saint. It has been 20 years since Mother Teresa died. No way. When was this published? 2020. Has it been 20 years? I can't believe that. She died humbly while the whole world was looking the other way. The world was obsessed with the death and funeral of Princess Diana, right? And Mother Teresa took that opportunity to slip from this world into the arms of her loving God. So it just has, I'd say it has a three-page biography of Mother Teresa, but there's there's huge amount of just quotes from people. So it's not really a biography, so it's even shorter than that. Oh, and then biography, that was the introduction. And then there is a biography. So the, the first little bit, it says introduction, encountering a saint. So there's a little bit about him um, by the author, whoever the author is. And then a little quote from people who encountered her, who actually met her. And then biography, she captured the imagination of the whole world. Um, oh my goodness, friends. That's five pages. And I mean five sides of pages. It's very tiny. And then you start January. It's pretty easy to see where January is, but you'd probably have a bookmark. And it's just a daily reader. So let's just grab some of these. Um, how would you start the year? Let's see. January 1st. Live simply so that others may simply live. Uh, January 8th. I know God will not give me anything I can't handle. I just wish that he didn't trust me so much. So these aren't just wise. They're kind of fun. They're humble. You get to know the saint by her writings. Now, none of these have citations of when she said them or where she said them. So you're just going to have to trust the author that these are legit citations. So that's a little awkward. Some of these are just one sentence. This is probably one of the longest ones in here. Um, so they, that's still just going to take you a second to read. So this may be something more to read in the beginning of the day because it is pretty short. You could get up, um, do your a little consecration prayer or morning offering, um, and then jump into these. Oh, June gets a little bit longer. It's summer. You'd think they'd get shorter, but nope, nope. She's calling you to task. Let's look at June 12th to students. I pray that all those young people who have graduated do not just carry a piece of paper with them, but they carry with them love, peace, and joy, that they become the sunshine of God's love to our people, the hope of eternal happiness, and the burning flame of love wherever they go, that they become carriers of God's love, that they be able to give what they have received, for they have received not to keep, but to share. Most people don't think, like, oh, I graduated, I got this great education, and I need to share it. You don't really necessarily think what, what you've that you're going to share. You think of all the things you're going to do, but maybe you don't think about sharing it. 
It's a good point. Um, August 11th. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. <laughs> she does have a good sense of humor. These, these are good. To, these are good to start your day. Again, um, I really didn't like the Matthew Kelly Lent books, but these dynamic Catholic books, there's a couple of them that have really been hitting it out of the ballpark. This is a nice one. Um, again, it's like not for resale. I got it free in the mail. They do ask you to become a sponsor. So a sponsor gives like, I think a monthly donation. Sponsor is not the official word they use, but like you give a monthly donation so that they can send these books out free to people like me. Um, or um, sometimes parishes will buy them in bulk and give them out after mass one day, which is a lovely gift. And this is so funny to me that this is another book that I'm absolutely loving from them when I really didn't like their Lent book. But it goes to show, um, give somebody a chance. Go ahead and look at it again, give it a second look, give it another try, and maybe it'll speak to you. And so I was surprised by that. Um, I knew a lot of people liked them, and that's why I couldn't figure it out, because I really didn't, and now I see it. Um, so maybe it's just, um, maybe those books, maybe the Lent books are written for people other than me. Um, and this, but this book really speaks to me as well as if you didn't see my review on Rediscover the Saints, another great book. You may want to look at that review as well. So friends, God bless you. I know it's a little short today, but I'm not going to sit here and read you the whole year. <laughs> God bless you, friends. May you have a, a beautiful and abundant Easter and entire year because we are an Easter people. God bless you, friends. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.